Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photo on the uh, Facebook page and asked if anybody had the file. And the file wouldn't do any good because the name wouldn't be your name that you'd want to put in there. And so I thought I'd show how to do this. It's not exactly like the photograph, but I, I picked a fancy N I could find. So let's just start and make a capital N. Let's expand it out. Doesn't really matter what size you make it right now. Let's go to change it to uh, this fancy N. Sometimes Corel does that. You have to click off of it and click back. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Take a, well, let's do this. Let's uh, pick it back. Let's left click, right click to get a hairline. Let's take a two point line and you, holding down the control button to make it parallel to the top to bottom let's hit P and put it in the center of the page let's take our smart field tool and this is a little bit trickier because of the fact that it's two parts but it can be done and then let's change our nudge distance to two inches well, let's change it bigger than that let's make it six inches let's pick that smart field and move it out of the way let's double click it so it moves it out of the way that far So now what you have is you have four separate parts and your end might not have that, but they're divided by two lines. Let's group it together for just a second. Control G. Let's put it back in the center of the page. Let's ungroup it, which would be control U. And then to just deciding on how far you want these to be apart, let's just make them um, one inch apart because we're going to move the top and the bottom. So we'll move those up and we'll move these down. Because I wanted to do that so I could still be in the center of the page. Let's move them a little bit further apart. I'm, whoop, I'm, can't look at the screen and, and do this at the same time. All right, that's good enough. <clears throat> Let's select everything and go left click no fill. So now we have our parts. I would take a rectangle and just kind of cover up and then hit P and put it in the center of the page. At this time you could try several different things and you never really know how it's going to work but use weld and that worked really well. Now before we did that we could have done this take our rectangle, go up to effects, contour, contour docker will open, and we're going to contour it 0.5 of an inch to the inside one time. Now we got another rectangle. Just so it won't mess us up, let's take that rectangle and let's cursor it out of the way. Whoop, I've got both of them because of the fact that I, I'm just going to hit P and put it back to the center of the page because they're still connected so we need to make the break the contour apart. Let's select our center rectangle and now let's go back to weld and now we can hit P and just put this back in the center of the page and voila you've already done that part and let's back up here I didn't evidently select that bottom part so it didn't weld. Hit weld. There we go. It all worked. Hit P and put it in the center of this page. And now you're going to take your name. And I'm just going to use the word name. Just to make it easier. I'm going to make it Times New Romans. Make it a little bit fancier. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. It's not quite big enough. Make it a little bigger. Put P. I'm going to. I'm going to back up one step and I'm just going to, I'm going to still hit P and put it in the center of the page, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to stretch it, which I do not like to do. So it will make our rectangle. I'm going to left click, right click. And now if you will select those two items and not get your third item, if you'll see, I'm just, I'm not getting everything. And let's hit weld. 
And see, that's what happens sometimes. You never really know. So let's try back minus front, and it worked. So we've done that part. All this is one piece now. I would go ahead and smart fill it to make sure there's no leaks. And we're not. We're in good shape. And that way you can also see what it's going to look like. Now we need to take a circle. And I am going to hold down the control button and make a perfect circle. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And our name rectangle isn't as long as it needs to be, as you can see here. So I've messed up a little bit. So you really need maybe even start a circle first. But we can very easily just squat, squat this down some. I need to control G and make, a, make it all one piece. Squish that down a little bit. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. Take our circle and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now we can actually make it a little bit bigger. Let's tell you what. Let's do this. Let's. I'm going to get rid of the circle for a second. Let's make it wider. Hit P and put it in the center of the page. So really I should have made a circle first. And that will work right there. We're touching everything. So now let's make another circle. We don't have to right this minute, but I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the shift key will bring it out from the, and make it from that edge. We're going to cursor that thing out of the way. We do not want it in our way. Now, the smartest thing to do here, and this is what I would do most of the time, we just use the virtual segment delete key, and you're not going to use this part of the circle. Now, here you want to delete that inside line and then the outside line. Whoop. Let's zoom in here. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line and delete that line and actually to make that work you're going to have to delete this line so you could have deleted all those lines so it doesn't really matter i'm just going to delete all these lines whoop went too far and if you drag your virtual segment delete key past two lines it'll delete them all now just hit take your circle and hit p and put it in the center of the page and use your smart fill tool and there's your project okay I didn't finish I didn't finish the bottom take your virtual segment delete key and delete these two lines and delete that line and delete that line and what you do with the smart fill tool you're filling it in but you're actually welding it so now let's take our new smart fill and right click no outline if that's what you want or let's make a copy of it control D move it out of the, move the copy out of the way and go no fill so I left click right click and there's your cut line to cut this out the black one will it's kind of hard to read this but you can see it's it worked really well I would use a thicker font but there's your project I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.